of steroids. And I that's what I get called all the time anyway, so I might as well talk about it, right? So let's let's look at it like this. Right now the industry and the sport of bodybuilding is trying to make the use of drugs commonplace. They're trying to make it be something that is normal for the normal person to accept that that's the way that fitness is supposed to be. And bodybuilding is so far away from fitness until it's unbelievable because of the health issues that the, the drugs that they take are causing the individuals to have over time. And they want that to be commonplace that the use of drug is a normal thing. It's just a, another tool that you use to build your body up. And that's so far from the truth until it's, it's, it's ridiculous. And that's why, as far as me and my is concerned, steroids is always, I'm always be called a hater then because I'm always hate that part of uh, weight training. Because natural people, have for years have believed that a lot of the ones that are on drugs were natural and they had the delusion that they can accomplish what these people are accomplishing with the use of drugs and science and that right there just ah uh, it just it boggles my mind it, i mean i can see if you were saying i was hating because i couldn't do what they're doing I can actually afford to do what they do easily if that's what I wanted to do. But I prefer to stay the way God made me, natural. To develop myself natural. Whether it be extraordinary or plain Jane, it doesn't make me a difference. I know that whatever I accomplish in life is me. It's all mine and don't have anything to do with human science and experiment, none of that. It's what God gave me. And that's the way I choose to work out and try to stay healthy in this world today. So, yeah, I'll always be a hater of steroid users because it's a very unnecessary thing to be done to the body. And the only thing it does is tears you down. And that's not a normal way to be. And there are so many of you running behind these uh, fake bodies until the ones that have developed decent bodies, you sit up and talk about those people like they're nothing. And these people have a harder time putting their bodies together the natural way when you got somebody who's in the gym and they're working out basically the same way. Except this one right here has a whole lot more recovery ability and able to hold more nitrogen in the muscle than this person is. So they're getting more benefit as far as the size and the look is concerned. But it's not real. Because once they stop using that drug, it's over with. It's done. You don't keep none of that. I don't care what none of you say, how you say it. You cannot keep nothing you gain from any kind of drugs, from any kind of creatine, creatine protein powders, once you stop using that stuff, you lose everything that you accomplish with it. And that's the money grabbing part. If you want to keep the body, you got to keep using the creatine, you got to keep using the protein powders, you got to keep using the steroids on a regular basis or you will lose everything you had and you'll be back to square one. The only thing about the creatine powders, the creatine and the uh, protein powders is is that your body will shrink back to where you begin. That's, that's the only thing about that is. The good thing about it. Steroids, you're going to actually go below where you started from. So, it's even worse. But, I hate the use of antibiotic steroids other than a medical use for somebody who actually need it. And if you need it, then you still going to be considered in the natural realm because your doctor is only giving you what you need to make you normal. No real doctor is going to uh, give you enough steroids to place you above 
your natural state. No doctor is going to do that and jeopardize their license. None, none of them are going to do that unless they are a drug dealer. Now, if they're a drug dealer, they'll do it without even thinking about it because all they're thinking about is that dollar amount. That's the true fact. So, it is what it is. But, there are so many guys with different, with decent physiques in the gym today and they don't even think that they have that because they're constantly looking at these uh, fake bodybuilders, these fake uh, uh, fitness uh, celebrities or whatever you want to call them. They're, they're constantly looking at those people and comparing themselves against that. When that right there is not normal. It's not a normal state of being. So they didn't, they didn't develop a, a decent natural body and they can't even celebrate that because they're looking at something that's not real. And that's my whole purpose for why I talk the way I do about people with steroids. And as long as they uphold steroids and make it look like it's commonplace, I'm going to always talk about it. So, if you're one of those type of people that love steroids, that love the way these guys look or whatever, and you don't want to hear nobody hurt your feelings about them, don't watch my channel. Because I'm going to hurt your feelings about them. Because I'm going to always talk about them. So, I'm letting you know that now. If you're on this channel, and I'm talking about people of steroids, like I said, I talk about all aspects of weight training. If I talk about the Olympia, if I talk about the Arnold Classic, it's not that I'm working, worshipping what they're doing. I'm just worshipping the work because they still have to work to get where they are. But it's all fake. But that's the top line of um, the uh, bodybuilding industry, so I talk about it. And that's what I do on my channel. But at the same time, this channel is geared 100% toward natural people. Natural people. That's it. Don't, don't expect for them to look like these people over here. That's, that's why I have this group of people here. Because all these people here are natural people. And they know what to expect and what, the, what natural people are supposed to look like. That's what this whole community that I've developed on this channel is for. For everybody who's natural and know what natural is supposed to be. They talk about different things and maybe people can take ideas from different people. Maybe. Some of them talk crazy. You have to look past a lot of the crazy talk too because you're going to get that no matter what you do. But that's what that's all about. So everybody can have somebody to look at and say, hey, this is normal. We in this category right here. And that's the way it's supposed to be. And that's the way I'm always put it. And like I said again, if I hurt your feelings about your favorite bodybuilder, I'm going to keep hurting it because... I'm going to talk about, I like Ronnie Coleman. I, 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 I used to love to watch that guy lift weights the way he do. But I never at one point think that I can lift weights like he do, being a natural person. You understand what I'm saying? I never at one point think I could get 24-inch arms like this guy or uh, be as huge as this guy. You understand what I'm saying? So understanding and knowing the reality of things, is one thing. You being caught up in the delusion and believing that you can is another thing. I want to erase that. I want I want to erase the fact that we get some say, well, we already know they're taking drugs. Okay, you know they're taking drugs. If somebody else don't know they're taking drugs, so shut the heck up. I almost said something else. But anyway, go keep it rolling. Go keep it clean. But anyway, always Stay natural, people. It's the best way to be. Quit looking at these exaggerated body forms because they are not normal. They are not naturally made. And these people themselves are not going to be able to maintain those bodies without spending uh, several thousand dollars a month to, to make that body. Anyway, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again... I'll be talking to you later. Thought I forgot about that coffee, did